Welcome to the Thriller School Crime Fiction Writing Micro Course. These six short videos will give you all the tools you need to begin to write your own crime fiction story. So what do you need to do first? Well, before anything else of course, you need to decide what kind of story you want to write. There's a host of different kinds of crime fiction and every kind works in slightly and sometimes radically different ways. Very briefly, you could say that there are seven main kinds of crime story. Firstly, the cosy, such as the Miss Marple stories by Agatha Christie, or the Murder, She Wrote television series. Secondly, there's the gentleman detective, of which Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes is the supreme example. Thirdly, the forensic thriller, such as those by Patricia Cornwell. Fourthly comes the private eye, Raymond Chandler's Philip Marlowe springs to mind here, Fifthly, the police procedural. For instance, Hilary Mantel, Henning Mankell, or Michael Connolly's Harry Bosch series. Then there are the hard-boiled thrillers, such as Dashiell Hammett, perhaps the father of this kind of story, while amongst contemporary writers we could pick out authors such as Robert B. Parker, Sue Grafton, and John D. MacDonald. Finally comes the legal or courtroom crime fiction story which ranges from John Mortimer's superb Rumpole of the Bailey through to Michael Connolly's Lincoln lawyer, Mickey Haller. All these different kinds of crime fiction novels and short stories have different conventions, different styles, different flavours, if you like. This doesn't mean you can't play with them and cross between one and the other. Look how Michael Connolly weaves his different characters into his different books. What it does mean though is that if you start out writing one kind of book, let's say an English village cosy, then you can't introduce a scene of violent evisceration described in technicolour detail. Not that evisceration doesn't take place in English villages, but its treatment in a cosy will be more removed, more elusive than in, say, one of Jeff Lindsay's Dexter novels. What does all this mean for you in practice? Essentially, it means two things. First of all, read as much as you can of the kind of crime story you most enjoy, noticing how it's written, the kind of characters there are, the way the plot unfolds, the language the authors use. Then, having got that under your belt and deep into the marrow of your mind, Put all those books aside and begin to write your own crime fiction novel. Something in that style of story, but entirely distinctive and original to you. Good luck and good writing.